Then what happened in Iraq basically was very, very simple. Against that background, for four years, from 2003 until the end of 2006, General Casey, who was in charge of our forces over there, and Secretary Rumsfeld were consistently saying to the President of the United States and to everybody else, we cannot win this war. I mean, you must have seen that a thousand times. Americans can't win this war. It's a political war, blah, blah, blah. And all they were saying was, we're going to train the Iraqis to stand up and fight their own war, and we're getting out of here. They said it for four years. At the end of the fourth year, things are falling apart in Baghdad, and the President says, well, where's our strategy for victory? And the answer comes back, we never had a strategy for victory, sir. We're going we're to force them to fight their own war. And as one colonel put it, he said it was the five-pound bag of you-know-what that you hand to somebody and say, here, here's your strategy, carry it out. But for four years, the national security process, including Secretary of State Rice when she was the national security advisor in the first administration, had never confronted the president, and the president had never done his homework sufficiently to understand that there was a fundamental disconnect, not just between Rumsfeld and the White House, there was a fundamental disconnect between the entire United States military and his position. And it was to the, it was to the point that there was a wonderful general by the name of Zilmer, whom I knew quite well, and, and I was talking with Zilmer, and there was a reporter coming by, and the reporter said to Zilmer, what's your strategy for winning out here? And he said, I'm not out here to win. I don't have the forces to win. I'm just out here to hand the war over to the Iraqis. Front page in the New York Times. The next day, Tony Snow, the White House spokesman, stands up and says, the general doesn't know what he's talking about. The president wants victory. Well, there you go. I mean, if you're the president, if you're the National Security Council advisor or something, and you have a division commander saying, I'm not out here to do that. You'd say, stop, all stop. Let's have a little meeting here, what's going on. The president and his system never did that. 